I'm going to take you on a wonderful little visual journey to see an artist's exhibit. Not all artists are alike, you know. Some struggle with creating art that they hope finds acceptance with an audience that they're trying to please, and they'll display their work under a pseudonym. Perhaps sometimes having an art name is a bit of a buffer between the artists and overly harsh critics. Artists' personalities can run between anxiety to overconfidence, but the happiest creatives just follow their passion as they see it with a heart of gratitude for any opportunity to share it with others. This little journey we're on is going to explore an exhibit of work by a happy creative. The art is going to be a little off the beaten path, and that is off the beaten path quite literally. The place is down a rural back road in the deep country known as the Driftless Area. Some call it Cooley Country. The artist created in an area surrounded by forest, Amish homesteads, and fields that host both growing and grazing. The art we'll see isn't as much about the art itself, but rather the meaning behind the art. The art itself is a tribute to a bygone era that points to our own roots. We can trace back time to when settlers from different lands started a heritage and history that became the backbone of our culture. The man is Alan Arnold. That's his real name. Alan and wife Rita are ordinary folks. Alan held a full-time job while also running a goat farm, growing the herd to over 100 heads. Alan's art is creating miniature buildings at one-sixth scale with exquisite detail. Most buildings tie in with local history, and each piece is dedicated to an influential person from the community or a family member. To give you a taste of the passionate handcrafting that goes into each art piece, let me show you a few and you'll experience the nostalgia and wonder. You'll sense the meticulous labor of love, of imagination coming to life with gifted, ingenious, original, inspired artisanship.
92 year old lady go in there. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> this has the most wood shingles of all the buildings. It has 10,500 on it. Oh my. This has the most uh, asphalt shingles of any of the buildings. I see. Uh, 11,600. Oh, wow. 